Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and today I'm going to show you some of my favourite armour stand building tricks in Minecraft. The armour stand is a wonderful item when it comes to building. You can make some really cool and unique looking builds due to the fact that it's an entity, which means you can move it around pretty freely with fishing rods, so it doesn't have to be centred in the middle of a block. You can also push blocks into them using pistons, and because it has those two properties it means you can do a lot with armour armor stands. Of course, we will definitely be making use of both of them today. So, let's begin. For each of these, I'm going to include the items needed along my hot bar down the bottom here, so you know what you need to grab before you start building. The 64 stone is just a temporary block that I'm going to be using, so don't pay attention to that, just the first five. And the first thing I'm going to do with this mini campfire is just dig down two blocks wherever you want it to go on the surface here. You're also going to need to keep one of the grass blocks or whatever you happen to be building on. But on the bottom level here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six snow layers. And then we're going to get some temporary blocks and just place three down like this. And then we want to place in our armor stands. One is going to be facing this way and the other facing that way. So we get this plus shape. We then want one facing diagonally and then the other one facing diagonally over here. So if you place it something like I've just done there you can see it makes this nice circle shape. And then what we can do is go ahead and place our piston upside down next to this block and our button can go right here. Now is where you can place the grass block below the piston and then just press the button, push the piston down, place the temporary block below the piston again and push it down even further. Go ahead and break the temporary blocks and the piston and the final thing to do is place down your torch. And that right there is the mini campfire all done. As you can see, once again on my hotbar, we are making use of the snow layers, and these things are just really helpful for incrementally increasing the height of your armor stand. You basically have seven options here that you can place down until you eventually reach a full-sized block, like that one is right there. And we're going to be using these a bit more today, so just a bit of a heads up, if you're choosing to build these, you may need more than just four. But we're going to go ahead and break the block below where we want our crafting bench to go, and place in one, two, three, and four four of our snow layers and then have our armor stand just like that. I'm choosing to have my on a diagonal but you can just face it forward, it's entirely up to you. But then we're going to grab our temporary blocks and just place four like that beside it and have our piston upside down on the top block with the stone button just beside it. Crafting table underneath the piston, push the button once, place in a temporary block and then push it again and then you can go ahead and get rid of all of the blocks here. You're left with this piece of armor stand on show, which of course needs a helmet to go on top of. And that right there is just a nice little resting place for our helmet. Looks like it's ever so slightly placed on the block and you can barely see the actual armor stand. To make this garden bench or table, whichever you would prefer to use it for, we're going to break down two blocks here, leave a gap of two, and then break down two more. You could also make this shorter or longer, it entirely is up to you, depends on how long of a table slash bench you actually want. But in both of these, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six snow layers, just like so, and then have two armor stands facing sideways, so from the front it looks like this. We can then just put a temporary block here and place in two oak slabs or three or four or one depending on how long you want this and then on front of all of these arm stands or behind them doesn't matter too much place in three stone blocks here with our piston on top obviously we'll do the same over there in a second stone button just beside it and then we're going to grab our grass block or whatever was on the floor before place that down push the piston and then place an oak slab and push it again and as you can see push the grass block down into the floor to make this table leg and nicely lines up the rest of the oak slabs we've already placed down and then of course we can break this and do the same over this side too and then break those blocks again and that right there is our bench design 
This one right here is pretty vague as to what you could do with it. Basically, it's a way to make these fence posts look a little bit better. So what we're gonna do to begin with is where we want our post to actually go, go up by one, two, and three temporary blocks, and then just place two like that and get rid of the three in the center. And basically, we're just gonna be doing what we did for the fire over there by placing one facing this way and then another facing that way to make this plus shape. And then we're gonna have two diagonal ones just like that. So we eventually get this circle shape that we saw earlier on. Once again, we can go ahead and break this block and put another one on top of that one right there. Piston can go on the top upside down, stone button just beside it, and basically we just want to push our oak fences, or spruce if you wanted to, oak just goes a bit better with the armor stand texture, but we can push that one in like that, and then the other just below, and break our piston, button, and temporary blocks, and that right there is our improved fence post. Makes it look a bit circular, which I think is quite good, and this basically just has a lot of possibilities with what you could do with it. To make an armor display case, you're of course going to need something to go around the glass and the armor that is stored inside of it, which is going to be on those two spots right here. Now, this is just something I've super simply set up for the video's sake. It's not very good. I'm sure you can do a lot better, but it's just so you get an idea of how it's all positioned. Our armor stand can go in the slot right here, with of course some armor on top of it. Netherite may be a little bit expensive to simply display, it's not really going to be very accessible, but we can place in two glass blocks just in front of it like so, and obviously you can do this one at a time, but basically all we want to do is just push the glass blocks actually into the armor stand, and that right there is the display case done. To make this couch, we're actually going to need two of these leather caps, aka our pillows. And of course, you can make them whatever color you want. You simply just have to dye a normal leather cap with the color that you want it. And the first thing we're going to do here is just place down some temporary blocks going across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just this two by four area. And we're actually going to build the couch on top of it, starting with two slabs in the center here with two stairs beside it, or behind it, I should say. And obviously, this can be any block you would like. It doesn't have to be dark oak. That's just the one I'm choosing to use here. And then we'll have two stairs curved round on the side just like that. So we have this corner shape. And then facing the front, we're going to place in two more like that. And that's the shape of the couch. We can then go ahead and break all the temporary blocks. And then all of the ones below it on the floor. And then also one more below that. So we should have this for right now. We're then going to grab all of our snow layers. And on each of these eight blocks, we want to go up by one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, just below the full height of a block, as you can see there. And the next step is to get your armor stands, and we're going to place two in both of the corners here on a diagonal, just like this. And now we need to get out the fishing rod. And this is where it might get a little bit finicky. So basically, all you need to do is pull the armor stand into the center of these four blocks. You can see where they all meet in the very middle point here. Now, obviously, you're not going to get it bang on. As I said, it's far too finicky for that. But just try your best to get it as close as possible. So throw the armor stand, or the fishing rod, I should say, ever so slightly past it and if you eventually should be able to hook it on like I've done there and then you just want to do a little drag and get it as close as you possibly can that right there is honestly fine cushions on a couch aren't usually perfectly symmetrical so I don't think it's going to matter if we're ever so slightly off if you want to pull it a tiny bit more, you can do that, but I'm having some real difficulties here and struggling. You can even go on top of the couch and do a tiny pull, and as you can see, that's moved it forward ever so slightly. We can then put our leather caps on top of the armor stands, and then basically what we want to do is just paste in a bunch of pistons upside down on top of the sofa. And obviously, you can do this one at a time or place in all eight like I'm doing here, but then we can go on top and actually grab our buttons and just power all of these, pushing the blocks down, that's our couch, into the actual armor stands, break all of that, and as you can see, we now have some cushions on a couch. 
Our painting easel is the final build trick we're going to be going through today, and it's probably my favourite of the bunch, but it's also probably the trickiest. But the first thing we need to do is place in our armor stand right here, and then just in front of it we're going to build up three temporary blocks and then place a spruce trap door like that, so that you're able to place a painting on the front of it. Now basically what we need to do here, and what makes this so tricky, is we need to push the armor stand so it's in line with the trap door. Now, these are basically the exact same width, which is why it's so finicky, but we've actually got a little bit of wiggle room here out the front, because as you can see, that's where the painting is going, so we've got an extra pixel worth of room to work with here. Yeah, it's tricky. <laughs> we don't have a lot of room for maneuver, but we're actually going to be using the water bucket method instead of the fishing rod to begin with this time. So we're going to make a small area just around our easel here so we don't completely flood the place. And I actually need to go into survival mode for this one, otherwise I won't be able to pick my water bucket back up. But basically what we're aiming for here is to push the armor stand into the center or where these blocks meet together and in the middle of the trap door. So I'm talking something like this, quickly placing it down and just giving it a little bit of a nudge with the flowing water and then just keep coming back to check on it. And that right there may actually be perfect. I'm thinking that would be virtually in line, but we might have a tiny bit sticking out the back. So I'm thinking we just do a final little nudge and hopefully that should be good. If we hop back into creative mode here, just break the painting for now and all of our temporary blocks, we can then piston push the trap door into the armor stand. So just place a temporary block here with the button on and then the piston can go there press the button and as you can see from the back we're all good we can't see the armor stand from the front we can but hopefully once we place in our painting nope it's not covered up entirely this is what makes it finicky so what we'll have to do then i'm thinking is maybe do the fishing rod method and we're just going to give it the tiniest of pulls i'm maybe thinking even we just go on top of the actual armor stand hook it back on again and then just give it a tiny little yank just so we can hide the actual armor stand and as you can see that right there has done the job so as you've seen this is pretty tricky and can take a little bit of practice and patience but in the end i would say it's pretty worth it slap a chair in front of that and you got a shelf a nice little painting easel so that everybody is gonna do it for the video i really hope this has helped you out and that you enjoyed watching and let me know down in the comments which of these building tricks with the armor stand was your favorite i think i'm still pretty set on the painting easel over here despite the trickery of the build but thank you everybody so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time bye for now